if you're thinking of exploring the systems engineer kind of job or role a typical day in the life because i'm still in training uh usually i get up early so about 7 a.m i'm up but i stay in bed scrolling through my phone playing a podcast then i get to freshening up i do all that good stuff get ready for work and then i try to be out of the house about between 8.30 and 8.45, so I'm in the office by 9 o'clock. That is when the work day starts. It's also what I used to do in my previous job, where I never had breakfast uh, at home, because uh, it just felt like a waste of time. So I have breakfast at work. It's the first thing I do, chill, have some good conversation with people around. I uh, also make myself some tea, uh, get some water in as well. Then it's back to work. The first four hours of the day, it's training. At the end of that training session, you go have lunch uh, with your colleagues or with whoever is around. Now that's a good time to unwind. Then afterwards, it's back to work. Now there's a lot of self-learning. You're doing preparations for presentations, preparations for role plays, preparations for a lot of other work that you have to do. Getting more familiar with a lot of content concepts so that's what you pretty much do until uh the end of the day then it's home time you're like oh it's time to go home and we back and we back hi guys i'm back Woo! Anyway, it's been a while okay so i last uploaded four months ago it's the longest i've taken without uploading just a lot been going on let me just get into it the last video that i uploaded if i see here it was why i quit my job in tech I was a scrum master at that time. Before that, I worked as a software developer and now I'm back in the technical space. So it just so happened that I got an opportunity. I saw it on LinkedIn. Use your LinkedIn guys, update your LinkedIn and check there quite often. I checked, there was an opening for a systems engineer position and I took it up and it's been a process ever since just to get it because I move. If you have any video requests that you want me to touch on, please leave that in the comment section down below. I always get to it. Even though I have not been uploading, I've been responding to you guys' questions, you guys' messages that you leave in the comments. I started my job as a systems engineer. Uh, it's about five months ago and it's been a great journey ever since i've been enjoying it it's been a lot of training getting back into it getting certified it's very networking oriented so i've been getting my ccna certificates my first i got the ccn uh, that's the beginners just to get you started get you familiar with a lot of the lingo and then the ccna which is the part two that kind of finalizes the whole thing and wraps it up I did that and I was so excited, I was so happy because at least I could put that off and I could do more traveling. But yeah, that is pretty much what I have been up to. I'm excited for this new journey. I'll give you some tips or so if you're thinking about doing a CCNA certificate, I'll give you some tips as well if you're interested in that. But yeah, that is pretty much what I have been up to. If you're thinking of exploring the systems engineer kind of job or role, everything related to connecting people or connecting people to the internet, be it Wi-Fi, be it a lot of LAN stuff, be it a lot of collaboration things, everything in that realm. And because the world is advancing, we're trying to kind of merge networking and software as well. So I'm getting back into Python programming, trying to get more familiar with it. Because my previous job, I did C Sharp. So that's been exciting, kind of dipping my feet into that. I think I like to get, I like the fusion of both networking and the software aspects of things. And I also like that this role is not solely technical, like there's a fusion between technical and sales. So you're pretty much sales, technical, all in one. It's, I, I quite enjoy that aspect. As much as you learn about the technology and how it works and how to operate it, you also learn how to sell it to your customers, to sell it to people that are interested in buying. You do role plays actually and preparing for one this week at the end of the week. And we're going to be talking about data centers. So that, sell them the solution. You have to speak to their challenges that they're currently facing, give them the solutions from your end, ask questions, have a little back and forth, make sure the customer understands what you're trying to deliver because you're trying to sell a product at the end of the day. 
But yes, that is it for now. I'm excited for this new year. I want to still record more. I want to still make more videos, but if you have any questions or if you have video ideas that you want me to make uh, videos about, please leave that in the comment section down below and I'll definitely get to it. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Welcome back to my channel. It's no longer dead. It's come back to life. Uh, yeah, that is it for me for now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.